So this video is one that I forgot to post back in July when I posted my other beginner series. And so I need to remake it. So this one is going to cover how to actually link in an architectural model, how to copy levels, and how to copy the grid. So it's very much a beginner lesson, but a very important one if you're just learning Revit. So if that interests you, stick around. And for those of you new to my channel, my name is Rob. Welcome. I hope you stick around and learn everything there is to know about Revit Electrical only. Thanks for watching. So we're in the electrical tutorial project that we set up. And so far in this series, we have only created this file from our electrical template. And in our case, we have a custom electrical template. But it sets things up like line types and even a lot of families that we use. We have a lot of custom families. But in this video, we're going to actually link in that architectural file that we looked at earlier. So let us see how we do that. Right away, we just go up to the insert menu up top. There's a couple ways to do this. But insert and then link Revit in the top left. And you'll get a view of your folders. So we are in an electrical folder right now. We have, in our firm, we have a separate folder called XREF, kind of from the old CAD days. But in here we have uh, our Revit Tutorial Arch Architectural 2020 version, which is what we are in on this, on this uh, tutorial. So notice at the bottom we're going to use internal origin to internal origin. We'll start with that and see what happens. As it turns out, doing that means our project base points did not line up. And that's how the future of this sample goes. A little spoiler alert here. If we would put this in as project base point to project base point, it would alleviate all of the issues we dealt with in this series. But it's a good learning process to continue on with this way to see how you can line up project base points in the future. Just wanted to throw that in there. Just open that up. And it will take a second to load this depending on how, on how large the architectural file really is. But I'm just loading this into a floor plan view. You cannot load a model into a detail view, so we want to make sure you switch to some kind of a plan view. I have one called overall working view, and from here I'll create a scope box, things like that, to narrow it down. But let's see, here is our architectural file. Now you'll see that my little, these are little elevation markers. They typically do need to be moved around because the base point of this model may not be right in the center. So I'll just move these. You can just circle these. There, there's a couple pieces to these, so you don't just want to click it. So you want to surround it, get it moved out of the way. This is my architectural file for this multi-floor building. Now it just comes in showing pretty much everything, which is okay. What we want to do in this lesson is get this thing set up for future modeling. So the first thing I want to look at, and we already investigated this architectural file in a previous video, saw what levels it has and what grids it has. So we need to go down to a elevation. So let's start opening these up and under coordination we have elevations. So if we hit the south elevation, we can also do it from here. Click on this little elevation view and it'll pop up the elevation. Now we have an elevation. And within this elevation, we can see there are levels. Let me change the scale of this view. Right now it's half inch to the foot. I'm gonna change this to an eighth inch view. So eighth inch right here. And that pops up my text. Now these are all levels within the architectural files. You can see I'm hovering over this and it lights up with the blue. When that lights up, I can click it and I'm clicking on my linked Revit model. Now one thing I like to do with my architectural model is to pin it. Up here in a modify there's a little stick pin. So we can lock it or pin it in place. That way I won't be able to move it. It won't let me move it. Now if you recall our electrical template file does have one level built in. And levels, I think I described earlier, are kind of the basis of every plan view in Revit, we create a plan view for each physical level established within this model. So down here we have level one, because I can highlight it, 
independently, I know that that's mine. That's in my model, not the architectural length. So it's a level. It has a quarter inch head. That's just the type of level it is. Now, if I see this little circle right here, that's a grip. If I click on it and drag, I can drag that level head around. Now, if I drag it to the right past this screen edge here, then when I zoom out, I, I let go. I let go over here. Now I zoom out and I can continue to just move it without even dragging. It's just stuck to my cursor. I like to move it out here so that I can see it independent of the architect's levels. One thing we'll cover too in the future is that my level one and their level one do not meet. They're a little bit off and we're going to take care of that in the next video. But for now, I just want to get the rest of my levels into this model that I might need to create a view. So this level one soffit data and level one slat, I don't believe I will need these in my model. I'm not going to copy these. But I do want to copy a number of others. I'll want level seven, and then I will want the roof plan. It looks like the doors come down to that, which looks like it's hard to tell in here, but it's maybe penthouse floor. So I'm going to copy these levels that I'm going to need in my model to create my views. So the way we do that is actually under collaborate. So under collaborate, we get this copy monitor button. Now I'll use current project. I only have one project or link in it right now. But I like to say select a link just to make sure that I'm selecting the proper link because in the future you may have multiple links. You'll have, you know, architectural, you may have a structural, you may have a mechanical and plumbing. So we want to make sure we're clicking the proper link. So good practice is do that. And then in this case, I do need to hold down control to copy multiple. Now I can copy with a hold down control. I can drag a window to the left, a crossing window. And then up in here, I'm going to be very careful that I copy the penthouse floor. See that penthouse lettering lit up right there. Hold down control, click penthouse floor. And I don't need top of penthouse. So I'm going to copy those levels, finish the multiple. And then it kicks you out of the command. It's thinking down here, the progress. At, then it kicks you out of the command. Now we're not really done copying. So we have to go back to the copy tag to finish the copy. There we go. It's a two-step two step finishing process. So now we should have these guys light up individually within our model. We copied them. Click on it. There's the little circle. We can drag it. And if we get close to above our other level, it'll highlight and show a lock. Now means that these guys are all locked together, they move together. So we're missing the little head, and what that means, if I click on this, it says it's a level and it's a plenum type, whereas our level was a quarter inch head type. If you want these all to look the same, then we can, again, drag to the left to get a crossing. We can click on this and change it to the quarter inch head, now it matches the rest of our levels. And then the other end of these levels, they all come out to here, so that works out well. So now we have our own levels, and what that means now is that we can create views for each of these levels, which we will do in future video. By the way, if you learned anything or found anything interesting, I sure appreciate you clicking that like down below. Also, if you wanna see more of these electrical-only Revit videos, Feel free to hit subscribe and stick around. Thanks. We also want these grids within our model. Let me get to a floor plan view. We want to be able to have control of these grids independently of where the architect has placed them. We may want to make them shorter. We want to, may want to put the head over here, things like that. We want ultimate con control of these grids, so we like to copy them. Well, how do we copy grids? Similar idea. Under the Collaborate tab, which we're already in, go up to Copy Monitor, select the link, hover over the architectural stuff to get it to highlight. Now click on it. So we've selected the architectural link. 
Again, we're going to copy multiple at once. Now we can start picking grids. Now another way we can pick the grids without having to individually select them is start at the top left, window this entire project so that all the grids, everything highlights. We've selected floors and walls and ceilings, everything. So this is a little important button here. This little funnel is a filter selection. Click on the little funnel, and now it says you've selected floors, grids, walls, and we can uncheck the things we don't want to copy. So uncheck walls and uncheck floors. If there was a huge list, you could check none. Make sure you only highlight yours and check grids. Now there's 15 grids being copied. Okay, finish the multiple. And like before, reopen copy monitor and finish the entire command. Now we have grid bubbles that light up in our model that we can move around. And then we'll see that we have ultimate control. See all these two, there's two bubbles right next to each other. If I click on one, this top one, and they get this little teeny break symbol. It's hard to see, a little break symbol. Click on that. Now that breaks it apart so I can move it. Now I can move one and 1.1 apart from each other. So again, I have control on my grids. I highlight the lowest one, click the break, slide it down a bit. Voila. You can do that with these guys too. And we have ultimate control on these grids. On the other side, there's this box over here. If I check this little box here, now I put a head on this side. And I can turn off the head on this side if that's what I desire. So again, we have ultimate control. We can slide these around. And you'll be glad you did that later on when you start working in this project. So that is what I wanted to cover in this short lesson. How to link in the architectural model. How to copy the levels and grids. And now you're ready to proceed to the next one. So thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.